like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars no wonder the devil can sit down and in the villages they will program all kinds of things in water and all of a sudden you find out that people's lives become a all kinds of destructive things because of water i'm not teaching you to go and idolize water i'm just showing you that these five elements they are mysterious elements that science has not even exhausted plants depend on it men depend on it everything on earth depends on water take away water from the earth and everything fails everything dries there is something called drought the absence of water within a predefined geographic area and it causes both men and animals to die so the bible says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high in the similitude of water isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says then the the wilderness that is bankrupt of water will be a fruitful field is that in your bible and a fruitful field will be counted for forest so the spirit of god can come in the similitude of water if i speak over your life and i say in the name of jesus be blessed you are hearing it that's why you can say amen it is true sound are we together now this is very powerful when you are about to eat and you say father thank you for this food that was the combination of light the combination of the earth the combination of fire am i right on that the meal on your table what and what led to it is the same elements we are talking about that's why it nourishes you what you are eating on your table is light <laughs> fire water listen you are my people and i'm teaching you something about the power of god uh, i will not go somewhere and go and share that i'm teaching you because i will still come back again to teach and clear your confusion but i am telling you if you ever see the supernatural manifest anywhere in the bible these five elements were present so i wish we had time we would have checked all these five elements in genesis chapter one in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and he says now the earth was void and formless and the spirit of god hovered around the face of the the face of the the face of the verse 2 and god said let there be you see light there and there was light verse 4 now and he saw that the light was good and he divided the light from darkness verse 5 and the light he called day the darkness he called night the evening and the morning were the first day verse 6 and god said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters this is god creating now and let it divide the waters from the waters verse 7 god made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament verse 8 it says and god called the firmament above heaven the firmament in the earth you know that one he called seas and the rest verse 9 we'll find somewhere to pray he said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place he's still talking water and dry land say earth say earth are you seeing these elements now and the dry land appear and it was so verse 10 it says and god called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called sea and god saw that it was good when you read 11 you can read on and on and god said the earth that has now formed now bring forth vegetation the grass the herb yielding seed the fruit tree yielding fruit after it and you can keep on like that like that like that you keep seeing all of these manifestations every time the supernatural comes it comes through these five conduits they are mysterious elements they do not belong to the earth they were outsourced into the earth that's why none none of these five things experience death light does not die because it is not mortal listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully sound 
does not die. Is that true? The earth does not die. Fire does not die. Water does not die. All five of these elements, death has no power over them. If they were earthbound and they were mortal, there would be a way of bringing them to an end. You can't bring light to an end. You can't bring sound to an end. No, you can only stop it from walking within a room. Demon spirits know this. Back again to our herbalist people as we round up. Every time you go to a herbalist, this is the same combination you see. Earth, water, light, then words are spoken. The words is still sound. It's just that unfortunately, this is, is a satanic thing that is done to... to you, are, are we getting the point now? It is not an invention of the herbalist. It is a manipulation of the laws of God. Now, today as believers, it is not necessary to speak to sound, to speak to water. Look at me. It is not necessary to speak to light. I'm not teaching you to do that. All of the powers that were invested in those elements have today been transferred and put in a name. Listen carefully now. Are we together? So the Bible says, Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above all names. It says that at the name of Jesus, now you will know what every knee must bow. The knee is not the knee of man. The knee is the knee of things. It's in your Bible. Of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth. And then it says every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. That means the power that is in the name of Jesus. Watch this. The power that God put in water. The power he put in fire. The power he put in light. All of these powers have now, they reside within the office of the Christ. When God gives you the name, he's giving you dominion over water, over fire, over elemental forces. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? So you do not need to go and fetch water or fetch fire or fetch all of these things. Now, I know there is a place of prophetic action, communion and water, whatever it is. I am not saying it's intrinsically wrong. But I'm saying as the believer today, understand when you see people use water and all of that, it is not that what they are doing is not correct. It is that there is a superior approach that is given to the believer now. Are we together? That all of that has been invested in the name of Jesus. So I do not need to go and consult with water and say, water, you have abundance. Give it to me. That abundance is in the name of Jesus. What I would have done before to now sit down and say, water, bring me abundance. Fire, bring me abundance. Light, bring me abundance. I can say in the name of Jesus, I speak to my destiny. Open up the power in the earth that makes it to yield will make my destiny yield because it's now been invested in the name of Jesus. Are you getting that now? It's important to understand this. So that you will now understand what the Bible means by saying the sun shall not smite you by day. How does the sun smite you? Who uses light to smite you? Evil spirits. But because you have the name of Jesus, you can speak and say in the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against me, whether by light, whether by water, anybody who takes your name to a herbalist. You don't also need to go and carry water or fire. Now, I'm not pleased with all due respect to the body of Christ. Every man of God is at liberty to practice whatever revelation he has. I'm not by this. Let me put a disclaimer. I'm not insulting or downplaying or demeaning. No, 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 no. I'm teaching you the truth as superior revelations from the word of God. Are we together? I have acknowledged that these are elements that cre were created by God and that there is a dimension of God's power resident within them and that they are conduits for manifesting the supernatural. But the advantage that the believer has in Christ today is this name we have been given. Now you will respect what was put in the name of Jesus. 
So here's what he says. Silver and gold I do not have. In other words, I can't tell you go and wash in Siloam. I can't tell you go and do this. But such as I have, give I unto you in the name of Jesus. The name that has that power. I will not need to say wait in Bethesda until the steering of the water. When the angel came in John 5, he steered the water and whoever entered the water was healed. Jesus himself put sand in someone's eyes. I don't need to go and start putting sand in people's eyes today to be healed. Are we together? All I need to do is to speak over your job, speak over your life, provided it is in the name of Jesus. I release that power. So, when I am walking my laws, learning all the laws that bring prosperity, when I bring the name of Jesus to those laws, I empower them to produce. On their own, there is a dimension of God's power. But now, added to it, I have said in the name of Jesus, whether you pray on the food you are eating or not, it already carries health within it. But now, I give thanks. Because there is a devil, there is an enemy who can also manipulate these spiritual laws. Listen to me, believers. The greatest investment you have for your victory is that name. The power was invested in the name. Jesus went through all of these things and today we do not need to consult mediums or consult elements to get power. The most superior approach for the believer is to understand the power that is in the name of Jesus. When I get up in the morning and I see the sun shine, I know that it's empowering plants and animals and all of that. But listen to me, even if I remain in darkness for one year, I still will not die because there is a name. Are we together? The effect of what that sun would have done, that name can do to me. Are we together now? Yes, I do not need to go and bath seven times, respectfully speaking, like Naaman, except if it comes as a prophetic instruction from God. But classically, as I'm speaking to you, that the believer's advantage today is in the name. Healing in the name. Prosperity in the name. Lifting in the name. Speed in the name. Even the communion that you take is in the name. The communion itself does not have any power. It is the name that is invested in it that empowers it. Otherwise, you are just taking maybe a, a drink and all of that. The anointing oil that you hold, it came from a plant connected to the earth, connected to water, connected to light. The anointing oil on its own does not bring you any miracle except the name is invested on it. Is someone learning? So if I forget an anointing oil at home and say ah, i don't have an anointing oil don't worry did you forget the name that is the trouble many have carried the oil and forgotten the name mary carried water and forgot the name are we together now now i'm saying this to help the body of christ we're in the school of power listen when it has to do with power thank god for water thank god for light thank god for all of these things but the name of Jesus Christ has been exalted above everything. And it's been given to the believer as an inheritance. When you have that name, with it you will command strange possibilities. And watch this. That name is able to manipulate even elemental forces to walk towards the favor of God's people. In other words, I can stand and speak over an atmosphere where there's drought and say, Rain! In the name of Jesus, I declare you begin to fall on this land. That rain will obey me. Why? Because I'm coming in the name of Jesus. Jesus is not a creation. He's not a creature. He is the creator himself. Is somebody understanding what I taught you tonight? God has all power. Now he's given Joshua Selman that power. I will not go and stand in front of a river, respectfully speaking, to consult and say, what will my destiny look like? Now, I'm not insulting you. If that is the pathway you choose, that is fine. But there is a more superior way that in the name of Jesus, I can say by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost was given to me to lead me and guide me to understand the ways of God. And I can walk in it and walk with exactitude and precision. Are we together now? Yes. I can say in the name of Jesus, help us to find out the cure for this and that. And God himself, watch this, can lead you 
to those elements. Now, please hear me. I need to balance this as we wrap up. I am not teaching that engaging any of these elements in itself is sin. The inventions that we get in our hospital is God leading men back to the trees to combine formulas that treat malaria, that treat all of this. Are we together now? Yes. There are times I've prayed for people on water. There are times I've prayed for people on their oil. There are times that people come by faith. They just hold a bag of sand and say, Apostle, pray on this sand. There's no time explaining anything to them. Their faith has been connected to it. I just lay my hands and say, in Jesus' name, go in peace. Because when they come and as they keep learning the ways of God, they will now see that there is a more superior approach. By this teaching, you should not go down and start insulting people and say, see what you are doing. You are still using oil and water and that. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I will still use oil on you. I will still use whatever it is that God leads. But I am telling you that the power is not in the oil. Now, today, my confidence is not anointing oil. My confidence is not water. My confidence is not communion set. As wonderful as that is. Are we together now? Yes. My confidence is in the name of Jesus. If I lay my hands on that oil and you use it and it produces results, it is not because of the oil itself. It is because of the name of Jesus. Anybody who does not know Jesus will have to depend on those elements on their own and then sadly for many in partnership with demon spirits. Now, witchcraft operates in this manner. These spirits understand how to manipulate these formulas and they come and meet men. They say there is a cure for something in the village. Bow to me and I will show you the cure. So someone will come and bow to the devil and you say combine this leaf and combine that leaf. And the person will start doing it and start providing solution. And you will be called the herbalist in the city and you will make money from it. Like the lady with the spirit of divination. He brought money to their people. You would have called that prosperity. But when someone came in the name of Jesus... He said in the name of Jesus and he seized control of that. And an end came to that. Anybody who uses the sun. Anybody who uses fire. Anybody who uses water against you is only wasting their time. That only works if you do not understand the power in the name. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? With the name that you have, you do not fear manipulations of water manipulations of this so there can be water spirits there can be demon spirits there can be all kinds of spirits in the air there can be manipulations with fire but my confidence is that i'm coming in the name of the lord jesus christ no matter what is conjured against me that no enchantments against jacob i don't need to also go and start pouring water and drink no no i've become an herbalist that will even become an embarrassment to the authority of that name How many people have the name here? When you come into Christ, among the many things that you are given is that name. Access to that name. But it works by revelation. It works by revelation. Watch this. If a herbalist stands now and pours water in front of your compound and is shouting, some, 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 one, and pours water and throws it away. You should not get afraid and say, hey, he even held water. No, remember what I've taught you. They are playing with all these five elements. But you have the name of Jesus. You have authority over that thing. Now, you know what happened that Benson Idahosa, I think he was, or one of these people, when they slaughtered an animal and kept it in front of him, they went and cooked it and, and ate it or so. If you use any of these elements, some of you go to your offices and you see blood, pepper, salt, all kinds of demonic things, and you panic and run away. No. Remember, these are elements. And they are only as powerful as your ignorance allows them. Now, the name of Jesus that he's given you, listen, with one command, with authority. Now, if you don't know what I have taught you and you are just shouting, in Jesus' name, you will waste your time and that time will work. Let me tell you the truth. Many people have not got this revelation and they've just carried bold face for nothing and they died like chickens. The strength of the name of Jesus is not in pronouncing it like a chant. It's in the understanding. This is what gives us confidence. Hallelujah. I have held many charms with my hands. Many. 
usually when people want to when people are repenting or confessing they carry all these charms that they got from several places and i say bring it to me because they don't know what to do with it and they warn them if you keep it in your house it will be the negative version of the ark of of god in the house of obed edom and so i say bring it i know what to do with it tear that nonsense into pieces and throw it away i will not do that just by bold face it will kill you listen i'm saying this to you because i want you to walk out of this place knowing that i have power as you obey the laws of the kingdom expect it to work for you the laws of prosperity the law of honor all of these laws but in addition know that i have the name of jesus and whatever spirit wants to manipulate my life and destiny i can stand in the name of jesus and speak that everybody who has used water against me anybody who has used the sun against me anybody who has used the earth to make pronouncement i stand in the name of jesus and i declare that it, the effect is nullified that is the prayer we are going to pray for one minute can we pray that prayer for one minute rise up everybody say in the name of jesus Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every manipulation from the air, from fire, from water, from the earth against my life and my destiny in the name of Jesus, let it be nullified now. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. I come by a superior manifestation of power. Power over the earth. Power over elemental forces. Power over water. Power over trees. Power over the sun. Someone pray. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. Hallelujah. Listen, please look at me. Give me a minute and we're done. Hear me? So, the Bible says, if they drink any deadly thing, is that in your Bible? that someone puts poison in water and say let him take it and die there is a covenant you have that you can even it's not about just avoiding to drink it whether you drink it that there is something the name does are we together yes the same way water separates itself from death and it can live you will be surprised that you are, it means water should not kill anybody. There are diseases called airborne, waterborne. You see, it ought not to be so. Because that air and water was created for the advantage of the believer. But manipulated by demons. I should not drink water and die. I should not eat food and die. They were not for my destruction. They were manipulated by the devil. No wonder the prophet said there is death in the pot. Today, right now, the devil has manipulated all kinds of foods. And now you almost don't know what to eat again. Because it looks like there is death in everything. Fear not. Walk within the advice of medical doctors. But can I tell you, shout the name of Jesus on that plate. And eat well. And go to bed. Are we together? Yes. I can go somewhere and get the water. I don't know who produced it. I don't know his covenant with the devil, but from the time it entered my house, loyalty changed. The bag of rice that comes to my house, I don't know who said it. In fact, if somebody prepares some, I'm saying this because there is so much fear in believers. Who prepared this? Who put this? Ah, I'm about to die. You are going to live a frustrated Christian life that way. It is the evil you know that you fight. What of the one you do not know? There are many believers who cannot do. It's out of fear. Somebody innocently can give you a wristwatch and say, uh-huh, you see, he gave me a wristwatch. This is a programming for delay. Please. Please. And you may be right. But what is the advantage of your presence? What is the advantage of the name? There are many restaurants that we may go and eat in. You don't know what the people believed. You can't sit in fear all the days of your life. 
apostle what if somebody wants to kill me it's not what if there is somebody on earth that wants to kill you for sure i can tell you that for free your immunity is in the name your immunity this is a summary of my message we're in the school of power your immunity is in the name that for as long as you stand in that name no divination and no enchantment and you can speak to elemental forces and i assure you by god that they will obey you give jesus a big hand clap